when it comes to scooters. I saw one parked in uh, the grass in front of my apartment building the other day. People have their opinions. They're really annoying. I think they're pretty fun to ride. Three companies are currently operating scooters in Milwaukee as part of a pilot program that ends December 31st. The Department of Public Works tells 12 News so far more than 250,000 rides have taken place. They released a survey Wednesday asking people what they enjoy about the scooters and what concerns them. They're going the wrong way. They're going to come down my side of the street over here and over there. We took that survey to the streets of Milwaukee. Does it concern you that the scooter is parked on the sidewalk here? Yes, it does. Tell me why. Because uh, I have to walk around it. It shouldn't be on the sidewalk, period. Do you think riders are being careful enough around people walking and other you know, drivers? I've, I've, seen, I've seen a few, and uh, the answer would be, again, mixed results. Uh, some are, are, are horrible, uh, just at the skill level. The survey also asks people why they choose to ride. It's pretty quick and easy transportation, and it's not that expensive. I mean, we take them all the way downtown sometimes, you know, if we want to go to a bar and we don't want to walk. In a statement, the Department of Public Works says it's received complaints about people riding on the sidewalk and parking scooters where they're not supposed to, something Daryl Stovall has seen plenty of times. Just get them off the sidewalk and off my yard and don't run me over. I'm fine. Don't run me over. All right, so the city is asking people all these questions. What does it plan to do with the survey results? Well, they're going to use them in their final evaluation of that program to see if they need to make any changes or if they're going to keep the scooters here altogether. You can weigh in on that survey until the end of the year, and you can also find a link to that survey on our website. That's WISN.com. Right, let your voice be heard. Sarah Tamer, thank you.